Hey everybody, it's Batali here at Red Barn Productions, and we are back today, and uh, we're going to just take a quick look at the the UA 853D to a USB SMD hot air rework soldering iron station. Uh, DC powered supply, 0 to 15 volt, 0 to 2 amps. With a 5 volt USB charging port and a 35 volt DC voltage test meter. And uh, that, that's a lot, uh, that's a mouthful. It's basically just say it's the UA 853D hot air rework soldering station. <laughs> Uh, th this isn't going to be a, a how to use it or anything like that. It's just going to be a quick unboxing and what's in the box. We may even plug it up and turn it on. Uh, let me uh, bring this up right quick. Uh, I've got it already open because the, the it has my address stuff on the top. But it's a big box. I, I didn't want to have to really move my camera to uh, uh, get it all in there. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a pretty good sized box. Pretty hefty. Let me push this back live. This isn't scripted, y'all. I'm just, you know, for those of you that don't know, my wife passed away, and I'm just trying to stay busy and get get some new content up, other than the the funeral and the GoFundMe and stuff. And when you open the box, this is what's in it: operation manual, operation instructions. And a little package here. It's an important document inside. I'll put that up where y'all can see it right quick. Warranty policy and return and all that. We'll stick this over to the side. Uh, I have not had this out of the box. So uh, if there's anything missing, I will be just as surprised as you are. And there's uh, quite a bit to unbox there. We will have to look and see what that is. We'll lay that over here to the side. That's the desoldering pump. It's a, it's a pretty complete kit. I believe these go on to the hot air gun, different tips, different shapes, different sizes. These are the hot air tips, I mean the soldering tips for the soldering iron and it comes with a bunch of them. I'm not sure how many it's supposed to have there, but it's a bunch. We'll count them in a minute. Uh, that's the pad for the uh, wiping your tip off. This goes on to the side. Comes with a, 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 a roll of solder. Put that over to the side. Yeah. This is the holds the soldering iron and tip cleaner. We'll set this over to the side. I'm not exactly sure what this is right here. This is some kind of tweezers, tweezers. I guess for driving IC circuit. Uh, it comes with the soldering iron. Comes with your uh, leads for your voltage meter and stuff, your test leads. Comes with power cord, your hot air gun. We'll go ahead and pull this off and take a look at it. The hot air gun for doing your hot air work. And the station itself. And it's heavy. Dog thinks somebody's knocking at the door, bless his heart. If we can get this out of here.
I'll bear with you. It's, uh, it's wrapped up pretty good. I don't want to tear this plastic up. Light up the wheel and see if it, that's what it looks like from the front. We push this live. I believe this goes to the side right here. No, hold on. I've got this light up a little bright. I should have adjusted this a little bit better. Trusty Phillips screwdriver. Hands don't work that good anymore, but maybe we can get through this. I should probably turn this up on the side and do it, but uh, yeah. All right. Let me take a close look at this right quick. Let's see exactly how that's supposed to. Yeah, it has to go that way. Screw. That's okay. I got this. I know I'm looking kind of clumsy tonight. It's just been a rough, uh, rough week and a rough day. In case anybody's wondering, this was something that we had ordered before my wife had her last stroke and it was out of stock and I forgot about it and uh, she had a stroke and had to care of the hospital and she passed away and all of a sudden I got an email that my item had been shipped and once it was shipped it was too late to cancel it so here we are We've got that mounted it's a hot air gun Oh, that's a big old thick twist tie. I wish I had some more of them. Heavy duty. This has a little notch in here. I don't know that you can see it because of the way my lighting is. And it's going to go to the top. And you just plug it in like that. And then you tighten the ring. The ring on this one is plastic. And I don't like the way that is threading. And I don't like the way that feels. But. That's tight. We'll go ahead and get that put up there for now. Uh, let me look at the soldering holder. Let me go ahead and make some room for this. Remember to take the lid off before you uh, go to trying to use it. <laughs> you know what I guess I should do before I get too involved on this? Is the power cord. Now it does have a USB port on the front. I would, I would guess that is so you can plug up a USB device if you're working on it. 
I would hope that that's what they intended it for, because I really wouldn't want to have my cell phone plugged up into that trying to charge it while I'm working. I've got other places to do that, right? The cords probably about four feet. I'd like it to be a little longer to reach the floor from the top of my desk, but uh, fortunately for me, I have a place right up here in my power strip that we can plug that into. The on-off switch is on the back, so keep that in mind. Got a nice tip cover here on this, and a tip already installed. Go ahead and tighten it up. Make sure you take that tip off. If you plug it in and turn it on while that plastic cap's on there, it will definitely melt it. Melt it. Because I think this goes from uh, 212 to 896 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, the hot air, the hot air gun, I think, goes to, to that. What's the solar iron go to? It doesn't say. Probably in the, the user's guide somewhere. Once again, this goes straight up, a little notch in the middle, you plug it in right there. Now this one is metal, and that one feels much better. Actually, it has another switch on the, the back, the front. So what is this switch for? The main power? Apparently so. Just like so. Get this back into the picture. Okay, I see what it is. The DC power supply, that's this switch. Voltage and amperage. Just the voltage up. Of course, we're not pulling any amperage. that off so let's just leave it on a minute there's your soldering uh, iron and I do not see a control for the soldering station itself just a control for the air turn that air on there Of course, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Yeah, it's blowing hot already. And we're going to go ahead and turn that off. We don't want it melting my screen. <laughs> but uh, take a little closer look again. The desoldering pump. These are your uh, tips for your air gun. Bring us over here. And there's one, two, three, four tips for that with a uh, a little uh, machine screw and nut to mount them and tighten them up. Go ahead and look at the uh, tips right quick. I'll tell you how many's in this this kit. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and counting the one in the gun, there's eleven. There's eleven soldering tips of all different kinds. Everything from uh, the chiseling type. That's pretty nice. Nice set of solid heavy duty tips too. They ought to last a long time. Not like this. Uh, they don't feel anything like them cheap tips that you get for the little ten, eleven dollar 
soldering irons that you can get at Walmart or wherever. I don't know exactly what this is for. It's not something I've ever had to use, but you have to put it together. And uh, the tweezers and the solder. So there you go. That's that's everything in the Yuya 853D. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll get to it because I'm still uh, working on my, my wife's funeral and stuff. Uh, but hopefully the next video I will uh, use it to fix uh, a little LED power can light and uh, show you how that works. Till next time, this is my tally over here at Red Barn Productions. Y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world today. And if you're interested in buying this, there'll be a, an affiliate link in the video, video description below where you can purchase it through Amazon. Uh, be sure to click that like, that subscribe, that follow, that share, whatever you can do there. Uh, now, if you're on YouTube, so please subscribe and click the bell to, so you'll get notifications and you don't miss new videos when they go up. But like I said, this is Vitaly. Y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world today. And until next time, I'm out of here.